Hello, I'm Johnny and welcome back to my channel. So, oh, I'm really nervous. This is the first time I'm going to do one of these videos uh, in this angle. I'm not using my gimbal, I'm using my overhead, what do you call it? An overhead, some sort of apparatus thing that holds your phone. Um, yes, yeah, so... I can't see if you can see the drawing um, because um, the thing that's holding me phone oh, but I'm not very technical the thing that's holding me phone is blocking my view so I can't see if you can see the drawing but I am going to attempt to paint it now so you'll see it all coming together um, I'm going to use this putty eraser to get rid of most of the graphite before I begin to paint. Um, this is the um, Sketchbox prompt. It was change. So I've sketched a caterpillar, um, a chrysalis and a butterfly. I mean, they're not... Um, the correct size is because you can see the caterpillar is massive um, and the butterfly is only tiny uh, the same as the chrysalis but I just wanted a huge caterpillar because I love caterpillars oh funny thing about a caterpillar on Christmas day I was walking around to my mum's house and we'd had all the snow and then it was like it had been raining and in this uh, a puddle, I seen this tiny creature struggling. So I picked it up and warmed it in my hand. It was absolutely freezing and filthy. Um, so I went round my mum's and said, look where I've found. Um, and it was a caterpillar. I've called her metal, by the way. Um, my mum gave me a temporary home for it, a Tupperware box and some lettuce. And when I got home, I put some... Coconut substrate that I use for my giant African snails. Um, and I put it in a ventilated jar with some lettuce and I sprayed the lettuce um, with bottled water. And then I put it near the heat mat, that's um, my snail tank, because she was absolutely freezing. Um, and she tunnelled under the substrate. So I don't know if it's a, a moth or a butterfly, but we'll see. Um, I think she's now gone back into hibernation. It must have been with the snow melting and then the weather heating up that she's come out of hibernation. Um, oh, well, I'll show you anyway. You won't be able to see her. She's under the substrate. Come on there. Oh. There. I've just got her in this. Oh, there she is. don't know if you can see. <laughs> she must have come out to eat some lettuce. Yes, yeah, so that's that. Anyway, I'm not going to speed uh, this up um, because you know how much I like to talk and if I talk through it while it's getting sped up then my voice is going to sound more weirder than it normally does. Um, and I haven't figured out how to do the voiceover yet. Um, so I will... Show you the swatches that I've done. So as I say, this is scrawler box. We never got uh, many things. Just um, these pencils and this tiny, pathetic-looking uh, pancet. Um, so I've swatched the pens out. I'm no good at swatching, by the way. Um, I think in the future I'm going to draw some circles and do it that way. So that's the colours. Um, I use this uh, Hannah Mule sketch box. It's uh, supposed to be really good paper but I'm not that fussed on it. It just seems like cardstock to me. It's supposed to be 30% cotton rag and 70% Argate fibre, but I'm not overly fussed on that. Um, 
So I put the pencil on uh, just very thinly, never pressed down a lot. So I wanted to see what the muted colours look like. I mean, I already know what they look like because I've got already got some pencils, but there we go. So then I used my Karen Dash where you scrape the pigment off the pencil and then add the wet paint brush. And there's the colours there. So let's begin. I'll probably make a mess of it. Fingers crossed I don't. So get rid of the graphite. Sometimes when I get rid of the graphite, I struggle to see the what I've actually drawn. And then it goes different from what I'd like it to turn out. Oh, nearly died then. I thought it wasn't recording and I was just talking to myself, but it is recording. And it doesn't seem overly secure in this thing here. Right, so. Oh, and the paintbrush that you got with the um, sketch box. It's too bloody stiff. I didn't, I mean, it was all right for swatching, I guess, but I wouldn't use it to do me painting. Oh, and look, I'll show you this. I finally got one of these. I said I wasn't going to spend any money this year on art supplies. That was my New Year's resolution, and I haven't. I looked in my wish list on Amazon, and I ordered some things that I did need. Went through my list ordered all of them and cleared the rest of it and got this rather expensive 18 pound but um i've always wanted one so handy can you see it have i got the box the ultimate rinse cup the i mean i've got the puck that go in the bottom of the jam jars but just wanted this forever and now i've got it right so let's begin. Right. If I go quiet during the video, um, I'm just trying to concentrate. So don't expect me to talk right the way through. Um, just look and see what paint brushes. To use. I don't know whether to put a very light wash of turquoise all over it or because I don't know if I might ruin it like that. Oh, we'll see. Right. So for the leaf, what colour greens have I got? I've got a light olive, but it looks more like a mucky green, and I've got a hooker's green. So I'll go over this with the light olive. And see, the problem is when you're filming at night with the fluorescent, fluorescent lights, you can't see where the water's gone. Unlike during the day, is my head in the way now? Oh, looking, I've missed graphite in places. Never mind. What I should have done with the holes in the leaves is put masking fluid on, but it's just too late now. But I am, um, where's my sketch? This is the sketch I done on the drawn paper. 
and then I used tracing paper here um, to transfer it onto the watercolour paper so if I mess up I've still got the um, tracing paper so I can it's not going to be total waste of time um, where did I put the light? Olive, was it in the pencil form? Yes, it was. So I'll get that out. Right, and I'm just going to scribble on here. And hopefully this is going to be really light. Oh, it's just so dirty looking. Right, where's my paper gone? Oops, just spilt me water. Just pause you for a sec. Right, I spilled my water all over the bloody table, but it's not gone on my um, paper, so that's fine. I just don't like this colour green, so I'm going to try and mix it with the golden yellow to see if I can try and improve it. It just looks so muddy and gross. Has that gone worse? <laughs> right, let's see. Oh no, that's turned out quite nice, like a limey green, much better than that horrible colour. So I bet you the water's dried on here now. I'm not an expert at watercolour, just a beginner, but I do love messing around with it. Oh, and I can feel me paper buckling already, and I'm not using that much water. It's usually all right, this paper, mixed media. I just hope you can't see the pencil marks when it's all finished. But I might have to go over it all with a liner. I just can't resist when I do a watercolour painting to go around it with a micron oh can you see clearly I can't tell so if this video doesn't turn out very well I won't be showing it because I can't tell if you can see what I'm doing properly Oh, no, I'm not fussed at all. I mean, I've added the yellow and I just don't like that green. Maybe it'll look all right when it's dry. But it just looks like mud to me. But saying that, this leaf wouldn't be actually lively in real life because it's been chomped on by a big fat caterpillar. So it might be on its way out.
I've had to take my glasses off because I can't see very well while I'm doing this. And I still can't see very well with my glasses off. And around these holes, there would be like yellow and brownie, wouldn't there? Because they'd be half dead where they've been chomped on. Um, right. So, what colour would that be? Um, could be green, could be brown. But I want. Um, I mean, I have got hooker's green, but I don't want it that dark. Um, I'm thinking turquoise, but I want to do the butterfly in turquoise. Um, decisions, decisions. What about... Not red, violet, golden, yellow. No. Oh, look, I can't decide. I'll just pause you for a sec. I think I might try red oxide um because that reminds me of a brownie colour like a rusty colour so that might work um where's a palette put it in a palette first Oh yes, that's really deep colour. So I'll add some more water to it. Now will that look pinky? Let's see. Hmm. I suppose I can always add this lighter colour and then darken it up. I'm just going to put a uh, wet on dry here because it's already very watery. If you can hear a noise in the background, it's just my partner watching TV. Take my glasses off again. Oh, look, it's pooling on the paper. That's not what you want. But I am liking this colour. And now you can't see the lines for the individual. What would you call them? individual parts of the chrysalis or chrysalis you know maybe i think i will just go over it in micron because i've already gone out of the lines there and you can see the pencil line through Hmm. 
Yes, I'm liking the way that's gone. Right. So we'll go on to the butterfly now. Um, and I want that to be turquoise. See, I'll have to use the uh, micron anyway, or, uh, well, maybe it's coloured pencils to do the segments of the butterfly. Right. Which one was the turquoise? Sunyo. Paint's grey. Red oxide. Hooker's green. There, that's the turquoise. And I don't know how long this video is so far. If it goes any longer than 30 minutes, 40 minutes, 40 minutes. If it goes any longer than that, I will stop it and just carry on. Because I don't think you'll be interested in watching me try to decide which colours and that. Or I suppose I could just let it run. I mean, it's up to you what you want to watch. You could just skip forward to the end. Oh, we'll see how I feel anyway. Right, I'm just going to do wet on dry again because there's far too much water in here. I wonder if I'll still be able to use the eraser when I've finished it. Yeah, I might be able to do that because this is um, ink tense. It's permanent, isn't it, once it's dry? So I can't imagine it lifting up when I use an eraser for the pencils. There. And I think what I'll do with the butterfly, once that's dry, I'll use a bit darker to go around the edges of the wings. And then once it's all dry and completely painted, then I'll go in with the pencils dry and do the segments and stuff. Hmm. That's a plan. Right. Now, the body of the... Well, I'm not going to do that yet because the colours will bleed. So, what colour do I want the caterpillar to be? Oh, see now, this bit here. The branch. That's like a brown, so that could be like a dark red oxide. But, if it's not a branch, if it's a... Uh, what do you call it? The stem... Where the leaf connects to. Could be green again. I don't know. Oh, let's get on with the um, caterpillar. Right. Am I going out of focus? Right, so what did I say I want the caterpillar to be? What colour did I say? Red. Should we go with red? Maybe it's red for the back of it. And for its belly, sun yellow. 
with that gorse and yellow and poppy red or maybe it's golden yellow so the poppy red that's in this palette isn't it And that's near the sun yellow. So I'm gonna go dark like that, let's see. Oh yes, I like that. Right, wet and dry again, do you think? And see the pencil. I just know that it's going to look completely different from the sketch when all this is dry. What time are we on now? Can't see. 29 minutes. I can't see. Oh, 
Right, that looks a bit odd. I think what I'll do now is I will stop the video here, continue on my own, and then show the completed thing. I'll just squish it all on to the back end of the video. Yeah, so I won't say see you bye, because um, I am really struggling with trying to paint this in this position. Yes, yeah, so, anyway. Right, so this is the finished piece. Sorry about the shadow. Um, I really enjoyed doing this. Um, I have got loads to learn still about mixing colours and even applying the watercolour. <laughs> it's just so difficult. Um... So, as you can see, the butterfly doesn't match the uh, caterpillar, but that doesn't matter. It's only, it's only to signify um, change, how a caterpillar changes into a chrysalis and then into a butterfly. Um, I enjoyed um, doing the um, where the caterpillar is eaten around the um, leaves here. Um, I think I achieved that quite well with that uh, colour, but the veins, um, I wish I hadn't added the veins of the leaf, it doesn't look very good at all. And the, um, the vine, what would you call that, the stem that attaches to the leaf, uh, I should have diluted the colour down more because it's just a bit too dark. Um, but overall, I'm pretty pleased with it, and I did enjoy it. Um, so, and it was an experience. I mean, I had lots of little accidents. I spilt my water all over. I broke the pencil a few times, but I enjoyed myself, and that's all that matters at the end of the day. So I will go now. Oh. I decided to leave the background white because with all the bright colours, I think uh, that looks more effective. Um, and that's it. Johnny signing out. See you. Bye.